Hey guys, so here I have a brand new candle of the week to review for you burning here downstairs and it's the 14.5 ounce for Autumn Day. Sosun says, inspire it by the fresh air and brilliant colors of a stroll through a secluded wood in autumn with notes of oak, citrus, and golden amber. So as you can see, flawless excellence. This candle has been burning like a charm. It's throwing well. The overall performance is just flawless. I'm telling you, this candle... I'll probably end up picking up about, I don't know, maybe four or five. It's, it's excellent. It's becoming one of my favorites, especially since the burn is so perfect. It's great. I'm telling you, it's so good. So you're witnessing a third day burn, and the wicks are super, super thin. They're like these thin, kind of like straw-colored wicks, but I'm not complaining because they're getting the job done to the T. Like, everything's perfect with this candle. I just can't tell you enough. It's, it's the best. So, the first day I lit the candle, the wicks were super long. I ended up trimming them to about halfway down. I lit the candle, the wax melted, pulled out, the wax pulled out in about, let's say, maybe 20 minutes or so, and the throw kicked in like right then and there. So everything kind of fell together and kicked into gear for this candle in about, let's say, 30 minutes for everything. Um, as soon as you light the candle, you leave it for a minute, you come back, and you'll notice that like the wax pool is just completely liquefied it's just like you can go swimming in it it's just the perfect pool of wax I'm telling you it's so pretty and then the wicks they actually form mushroom tops and that's kinda rare for these you know skinny little wicks to do that because they're so small but they ended up forming a mushroom top that's a little ball of soot at the tip of the wick and when you have that at the tip of the wick that always helps to ensure that the flames are going to get a lot bigger thicker and wider as you can see here and when you have flames like this, it's going to melt that wax a lot more consistently and smoothly, giving you a better burn overall. I have to say, it doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to get a great throw, but if you can get flames like this, it's going to melt the wax a lot more consistently. So we're looking at excellence, like all across the board. It's just perfect. And the throw, it's lingering upstairs. Now with this throw, it's not a choke you out corner you, you know, make you cry throw. It's just really guest friendly. It's pleasant. And it's strong. It's strong in a way of being pleasant. If you know what I mean, that kind of sounds strange, but it's it's good. It's a really good throw. So the same thing, day two, day three, repeat step one. It was just perfect. So we know that the performance has just been flawless all across the board. It's just the best performing candle yet. It's It's great. So let's talk about the actual scent. So this candle used to be called Acorn and Fig about, I'll say, three years ago now. It's been a while. And the notes, if I can remember, were, I believe it was sandalwood, fig, and some kind of like oak. So the notes here, now they say um, oak, citrus, and golden amber. I can disregard some of those notes because I remember it smelling like the real acorn fig and what it you know those notes I think they were more accurate so when I smell this candle I get and I can't stand sandalwood but unfortunately I'm smelling sandalwood but it's not bad because it's not sandalwood alone it's like blended so I'm getting a little bit of sandalwood I'm getting um, fig and when they do fig it's usually kind of like a creamy type of a fig it's never like um, like a rich full fig it's just always creamy and that's not a problem it still smells good so you know no biggie there but you get sandalwood cream, you know, not cream, fig, creamy fig, and a little bit of balsam too. I get like a little bit of balsam, that oak is definitely there. They do oak really well, so you can always detect um, oak in their candles if it's there, and it's kind of distinctive too, so I love that. But it's basically amber, a little bit of amber too, but mostly sandalwood, balsam, oak, and fig, and maybe a little bit of apple in there too. When I go upstairs, I can smell apple, but... When I'm coming down, I just get, you know, the sandalwood, fig, and I get the oak. And it's great, I'm telling you. A candle like this, when it burns, and let me give you like a little overhead view really quickly. So you can see. Look at that. How pretty is I wish all the candles burn like that. It's just flawless. I mean, there's nothing wrong with it. It's just, and it's like pretty much past mid-range too. So this is A-OK -okay in my book. I would highly recommend it. Um, it's not, it doesn't smell like cologne, it doesn't smell like perfume, so we're looking at a really, um, fresh, authentic scent. It's outdoorsy, like when you go outside, 
you're in like a park or something I think you would smell this I've heard that it could be a potential kind of like a craft store type of a scent and I understand that but no I think it's the real thing it's the real deal so I would highly recommend trying it um, if you're a fan of the sweeties or the you know the sweet scents and you're not really up for these kind of scents at least smell it you know don't just write it off because it's like autumn day and it's no sweet you know just give it a shot I think it's great and that's all I have to say about it <laughs> I don't want to like keep dragging it on so thank you so much for listening and watching I really appreciate it you know you have to comment rate subscribe that's a must it's a plus it's mandatory and as always God bless you and I'll talk to you all soon thanks love you much bye